How does Jay Garrick run without that helmet falling off of his head? <laughs> That's a really good question. The guys have sort of figured out uh, a, at this point a way to keep it on. But at first, um, so we, we had this whole fight scene coordinated for, for episode two between uh, San Demon and myself. And we, you know, we, we, God, we worked on it for hours. And then when we went to shoot it, we realized once the helmet went on, right after the first swing, the helmet was just gonna was just gonna go that way, and so we had to on the fly uh, change it up. Um, yeah, they, we we have like you know I don't know bubble gum and duct tape and stuff like that. L little little tricks. Now we have like a little fishing line that goes, but we also have helmets of different weight and like one's plastic helmets, we got rubber helmets. So I think uh, I think they they have it pretty dialed in at this point. And we we've had enough trial and error to to I guess get it to kind of a sweet spot. No, I, I didn't. Have, it, it does fit better now that my hair is cut. No, uh, I, was, I was splitting time between this and Masters of Sex, and we were in the late 60s, so there was sort of a thing that was going on with that character. Uh, we did also initially think, uh, yeah, this, this might be kind of cool. He comes over from Earth 2, and he it's like, it's kind of has this <laughs> weird, you know, Mark Hamill, Star Wars era, like, center cut. Uh, but then that quickly went south. When I, th I think the bosses took one look at dailies and they're like, this is not, this is not a good look. Let's get rid of it. So uh, you'll have to ask them, but that was sort of, uh, it wasn't a helmet issue per se, but it does fit better. Has Jay made his way into the precinct yet? And has he noticed the uh, lookalike like figure yeah. that is actually right behind really? you? Really? Yeah, I know. <laughs> right there. Oh, <laughs> that's incredible. Um, uh, I mean, I've, I've never seen that. Um, I, I, feel like, I feel like uh, I feel like I have. I feel like I have been here. Yeah, um, it's in an upcoming episode. It's not too far in the future, but it's also really quick. Uh, I'm not doing any police work. Put it that way. What do you think his reaction would be if he actually noticed that, hey, that guy kind of looks a little like <laughs> uh, Jay, what would Jay's reaction be? I don't know. He might, uh, I, I'm speechless. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm sort of still in awe that that <laughs> exists. <laughs> and I don't know, do we know, was this here, this was yeah, here last season, yeah. right? So yeah. maybe they had something in mind when they, when they put it up. I, I don't know. He's, he's bare chested, isn't he? <laughs> he's yeah. wearing a very tight t shirt. So. <laughs> Sounds like something. Or very yeah. Star Labs sweatshirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was really funny. There was like, there's been some great. This is the thing I'm learning. There's some wonderful fan art, like and some incredibly talented kids out there. Uh, and some, yeah, someone did this really <coughs> cool, fun illustration of of Jay Garrick in like the you know Smedium, which is I call it the Smedium <laughs> Star Labs sweatshirt, with like it's sort of a bear midriff thing. Like that. Yeah, that was that was fun. I haven't yet to see the episode though. I haven't seen it. Um, just haven't. Put the found, time together. You found the fan art. Have you found the fan fic? Oh boy. No, okay. I haven't yet. No, is there? Just go, go Google that. That'll be fun. I'm afraid to Google anything yeah. about the show. <laughs> I'm afraid. I don't know. I don't want to know anything. No, but yeah, truthfully, I don't. It's 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 great when you're you know really liked. It's you know, and then there's the the other side of it when you're not. But really, it doesn't matter. That um, I'm happy that people like the show. Obviously, that's what keeps us in business. But. It's the bosses. It's you know. It's what does Greg Berlanti think and Andrew and um, and I don't know. I I'm, if those guys are happy, then that's all good. I don't need to go. If it comes to me, great. But I don't want to go out there searching because you know you can go down these rabbit holes, and I'd rather not I'd rather not do that. Yeah. We know that um, at the end of the tomorrow's episode, that Wells two comes over. Yeah. Yeah. Does Jay know of him? Do they have a relationship back on Earth too? Yeah, they, they do. Um, and this is teasing a a later, it's not too later, but um, we actually see a sort of a, a flash of it in a, a flash of it in a, <laughs> yeah, no, a I don't know, uh, it's, a, it's not a preview, it's, it's something that, I've, I, that I was sent, there's a link. Oh yeah, it was teased at Comic-Con. You briefly see Earth too, right? Yeah. Um, so, and there's sort of a quick thing where Jay Garrick sort of arrives and people are clapping. That, that uh, has to do with Harrison Wells. I, I, I mean, I'll say this without saying too much because we'll definitely see it sooner than later. Um, that Jay and Harrison certainly know each other, but, but Harrison Wells is a guy who's known to, to many people because of who he is back there. That's so vague, but it'll make sense. We know that um, Caitlin also at the end of next week's episode. Can you yeah. talk a little bit about the development of their relationship uh, going forward? Well, it's early days, um, certainly, but Caitlin being a scientist, Jay being 
scientists, they, and Jada having no powers, they, they start to spend some time together sort of working on scientific stuff. And there's a comfort there. There's, there's certainly sort of a, a burgeoning um, uh, relationship is not the word I want to use, but, um, but a burgeoning, uh, <laughs> God, I mean, what, what word do you use if you don't use relationship? Uh, not in that I sense, but uh, what did you say? Flirtation. Well, yeah, it's sort of less, but you don't, it's less flirty. There's, there, there's, there's some chemistry there, sure. And like I said, it's early days, and I don't yet know where it's going, because we've, we've done some stuff, we haven't done too much. But it's definitely safe to say that they're comfortable around each other, um, that uh, we'll see them spending a little bit more time together in their sort of, you know, Star Labs business stuff. We, yeah. we heard the Christmas episode might involve mistletoe. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you heard that, did you? I don't, I don't know. I don't know uh, what you're talking about because you know scripts can change. Um, that scene's not been shot yet, uh, so may, po possibly. <laughs> so I don't know what to say to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. It is. <laughs> we we discovered that um, Barry and Jay are going to kind of have like a brother older brother dynamic moving forward. Yeah. When they're not trying to defeat metahumans coming in from Earth Two, um, no. are they ever going to get to have any like bro time and like just some normal time together? Uh, I I hope so, um, <laughs> because they they do have this really cool, you know, athlete coach. It's really it's really older brother younger brother thing, uh, like you said that they have. We we'll, we only see it so far at, at Star Labs. Um, my yeah my, my hope is that there's some good out of office time. Um, but I don't, I don't really know. They, the writers, they keep all of this sort of behind the, the curtain for me, and I, I, I know it when I see it on, on the page. Um, but that would be a lot of fun. I, I hope so, because it would sort of give a nice, you know, 360-degree look at who these guys are, birth, uh, both at work and then, you know, outside of it. I don't know, yeah. I hope so. Will, will we ever see um, Jay with his powers in some, like, form or fashion, like, see how he was on... Earth two or anything. Like that. Uh, yes, um, we like there was that tease at, at New York Comic Con. There you will you will see a bit of Jay before he came to, to Earth one. Outside of that, um, again, I, I don't know, but I, I I'd like to I'd like to see it happen here, here Earth one, but I don't know. Does he struggle with not having his powers and try to find a way to get them back? Yeah, there's some um, there that's. In, in episode three, tomorrow night, um, you haven't seen it, correct? But you've mm -hmm. sort of seen we it rundown. Yeah, there, there's a conversation about about that between between Jay and Kate. They're doing science stuff, uh, what they can do, you know, here on, <coughs> on the ground while while Barry and the gang are doing something else. And um, and he has a conversation about that. He's trying to struggle. He, he's trying to reconcile who is he without his speed. Um, he was able to accomplish so much as a as a scientist when he had it in, in a way that helped a lot of people. And now that he doesn't have it, what does that make him? You know, who, who, who is he? Um, and, you know, uh, what is it like to return to, quote, normal? So that's a, sort of a fun thing he's, he's chewing on, he's, and he's working through. And he has um, the Caitlin there to, to talk to about it, and she, she's very you know, give, does, encouraging, gives nice words. Does Jay have a role to play in the crossover? Yeah. Does he, is he involved in the action? Jay Garrick, it, yes, is in a crossover episode, but um, does not have interaction with the crossover characters. Okay. Very much has a story in, in that episode, but, um, but yeah. Were you bummed? Not. Was there any character that you would like to see Jay interact with from Star City? Uh, well, sort of. I mean, okay, yes and no. So Brandon Routh, he's no longer on the show, right? He's on Legends. Yeah. But I didn't know that, and I thought, but he was last season, am I, yeah. am I right? Yeah. I thought, so Brand, my first job, uh, was on a soap opera, One Life to Live, with Brandon Routh. Yeah. Uh, we both were hired about the same time and fired about the same time. <laughs> for probably being equally as terrible. Uh, may, maybe, yes, equally as terrible. And not really knowing what we were doing. So I was hoping that we could have some stuff, just because I haven't seen him in a long time, it could be really funny to be like, oh my god, here we are. <coughs> uh, but then I found out that he was on a totally different Berlanti you know, show. So, um, so no, I mean, outside of that, uh, <coughs> No, I was just happy, honestly, just happy to be in the episode, to have some, to have some presence in it, because it, that was not the intention. I was always told, no, episode eight, you'll be off, 
you know, it's a crossover, you won't be in that. And then, and then suddenly, like I said, I got a script, and oh, I'm, I'm actually in it. So great, let's go to work. We uh, sort of, we know a lot about Barry's life outside of his persona as the Flash. Will we get to learn more about Jay and his sort of, his life on Earth too, besides just being the Flash? I don't know. Um, I, I, I hope so. We haven't, uh, we haven't approached that yet. Um, besides talking about, sort of he's recounting how he, in episode three, you'll see you know, how he got his speed, you know, what, sort of how it all happened. Uh, we will see, again, a, a teeny bit more backstory, specifically as it pertains to his relationship with Wells in five, but, but uh, the rest of that hasn't been addressed. I, I hope so. It would, it would be really fun. Were there any other heroes on Earth too, like a society of people that Jay might have hung out with? Um, <laughs> a justice society? <laughs> if you would, no. Uh, by all accounts, probably, it, but it hasn't been told to me. Again, it hasn't been fleshed out. And uh, there's a lot, this is what's fun, there's a lot of unanswered questions and a lot of places that, that, that we could go. And, and Earth 2 is just one of 52 Earths. I know we're just in season two, but we really can kind of go in all sorts of great directions. Um, they just don't tell me anything. <laughs> they don't tell me anything. I'm just happy to be here. <laughs>